How's it going guys? This is Jack. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved on the hardcore server. So, uh, guys, we've had a good few episodes getting everything kind of set up. We've got a secure base. We've got some games. We've got this cute guy on my shoulder. Uh, some dangerous things like the Rex. We got an unusable team like the Quets. Uh, which by the way, we'll get caught up on that in just a minute. But let me tell you kind of where, what's next? What's next for this server? For me on this server. So my goal is to beat the Broodmother Listrix on Gamma. That's my goal for the series. I want to beat it. Um, it's very possible I get help from other people, other people that are on the server, but I definitely want to be able to do it myself. Now that means I need to do a few things first. So the main thing I need to do is get on finding some Megatheriums. I gotta find, start with one high level, start with, get a second one, and then just start breeding them like crazy. That's, that's the number one thing I gotta do. But, uh, so I'm gonna go spend some time today doing that. I know this is probably boring, just staring, staring at me, but we'll get to it. Um, if you may have noticed behind me, I've got the map up. That is because the next thing I have to, the, the, the thing after and the thing while I'm raising megatheriums and trying and breeding them and leveling them up and whatnot, the next thing I have to do is I have to go do these three caves. The first one I'm gonna start with is the central cave. That's the one right next to the volcano. It's fairly easy, fairly quick. Uh, I'm gonna go do that one first and foremost. Inside the central cave, there are bats that can give you rabies. So I need to craft the, the lesser antidote to take away the rabies or else you die really quickly when you get rabies. At least that's my experience in the past. Um, the next thing you have to do, and and so in order to get to get that that lesser antidote, I have to go get leech blood. So we're gonna take the the Rex out in the swamp. Um, I don't know if it'll be today, but it'll be soon. Uh, and just take it through the swamp, killing leeches and doing our best to to get leech blood. Um, the other thing is that there are mega megalosauruses in the cave. There's usually a couple. Um, and they they aren't too bad but we got to make sure we go at night or sorry not at night because that's when they get strong um so i need to and then uh so i need to make sure that i you know i time it right um and then the next thing i need to do is i need to figure out what teams i want to take in the teams that i think i personally want to take that i would love to take that kind of makes it so that the oh the other thing is there are aranios the you know the uh, the you know centipedes um, which can which can just destroy your armor so uh, one of the things you can do is you can actually take in a you can take in a baryonyx which is kind of sits up too high for for the Uranios to actually break your armor. So, so that's another thing I want to do is I want to look for, I want to look for some of those. So that's, that's the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I'm also going to keep my eye out for Baryonyxes. Baryon, Bary, Baryonyx eye? I don't know. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of on the agenda. I need to start prepping for the cave, caves. Uh, there, the other caves is, of course, you can see there's the lower south cave. That one's pretty easy. Again, some spiders. I think all the caves basically have megalosauruses. Um, spiders, um, some centipedes, some of the, of the aranios. The lava cave is not too bad. Obviously, it gets hot, so I'll probably make up some, uh, you know, I have to, I have to remember what it is, but like the Freya curry or the... The, um, the, the, cur the, whatever the, the soup is to keep, to cool you down. And then also tons of, of medical brews. I'm going to take tons of medical brews in all of these. Um, cause if I have to, uh, just, if I'm, if I'm getting close to death, I got to make sure I can just easily pop something. I'm really, I want to take this seriously and not just, you know, most of the time when we do these caves, at least for me, 
most of the time I've done it in the past, I just kind of grab whatever, grab all the stuff, and go. But because this is a hardcore server, you want to make sure you do it right the first time. I've done all these caves, no problem. I've done them all. I just need to make sure that I do it right and I don't don't mess around. So, so that's the goal. One thing I could do, I do have... Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I do have a saber tooth. There was a one, I, I believe this was a 140. Um, and I've been leveling up the health. I haven't literally not done anything with this thing. I've given it 20 or so levels, but it was just kind of hanging out fairly close. And, uh, I should probably go get it leveled up a little bit because this is an option if I don't find a baryonyx. But I would definitely like it to be, um, to be mate boosted. So this one is a female, so we're going to have to go, we could go find a high level male, which I'm going to keep an eye on that too. So that's the list guys. Uh, Megala, uh, uh, Megatheriums, number one, need to get on that because I need to raise a lot of those things. Anyway, so that's the plan. I'm going to go spend a few minutes looking for a Megatherium in the snow and in the redwoods a little bit. If I don't see anything, you guys probably, basically, if I don't find a high level, like 140, maybe 135 plus, then you guys won't even see the footage of me searching because that would be a waste of time. Uh, after that, I'll probably look for Baryonyx. There are some kind of in the river over by the, by the, uh, uh, snow. Um, and then, um, and the, and even a, uh, another saber tooth. So I'm going to do a little bit of searching for those high level creatures. Before I start crafting all of the, uh, uh, before I start crafting all of the, uh, uh, med brews and all that kind of stuff, that'll be like the last thing I do. But I'm hoping it would be great if I could get a couple of those teams in this episode and, uh, start getting on my way. So, long intro. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope, uh, I hope this turns out okay. But really, the goal to, the goal of coming on this hardcore server is not just to survive, but I want to thrive. I want to, I want to win. I want to, I want to beat one of the bosses, and that that gamma boss, the gamma the gamma spider is probably the best one to go do. So, let's go, guys. Let's get it done. All right, guys. Well, I searched all over the snow biome. The highest level megatherium I found was a level one hundred. But, as you can see here, I did find a male saber tooth. Let's get in the right trajectory here. I think I should be going that way. And let's check, it, check out the, the level. Can I get it? Can I get it? What the heck? Usually I can get it from here. Okay, we're not going to get it. So, I'll just... Oh, there it was. It's a 145. 145 male. Which, uh, is really good. I actually have, I think I have a decent, um, like an apprentice, uh, saddle blueprint I found from a drop. So, that helps also. Um, hopefully I can make it all the way back to my base. So, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go get this sucker tamed up. So, I'll bring you guys back, uh, a little bit later. All right, guys, we are back and it is done. So. There we go. Ooh, that's high melee damage. That's really high melee da damage compared to my female. All right. That looks really good. 352. And this one has good health. 2150. Man, I should breathe these. I should breathe these, shouldn't I, guys? So I can get an imprinted one. That's the plan. But look, either way, we got two. Two mate boosted. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, let's put this on passive so it doesn't go running off when I'm when I'm not around. Oh, I love it. That's really good. Cool, guys. That is going to... Um, I am going to keep doing some more stuff, but... That's a good find. That's a really good find. Okay, guys. So, I ended up breeding them. And, uh, this... I can see the name floating. But I think this baby saber... Yeah, there's the baby saber tooth 
feet right there. Let's just move the mom. There it is. <laughs> okay. Um, let's give us some meat real quick. Okay, get the settings right. And then we're going to look at the stats. Uh, back table. Okay. Um, real quick, guys. Check this out. Look at this. 135. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. I can't. I gotta focus. Gotta focus. Let's give it... So it has about an hour. Let's look at the levels. It's 226. Okay, 2150 and 352. It got both high... High... Let's see, 920 stam. Let's check all the stats. 920 stam. Better than that one. 860. Wait. Five. Wait. Let me see here. 304, so it did not get the high weight. 324, 304, it's not that big a deal. Okay, but back to this, guys. You know what? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I should probably put... Let's put some more meat in it. There we go. Okay. Um. Grab... Will it eat prime meat? It will, right? Let's give it that. Okay. Cool. Alright. Um... And what is it again? It's a male. Look at that face. And why is it floating? Look at the size of those teeth. They're just a baby. I guess the teeth come out full grown. That's cute. I'm so excited, guys. This is so good. This is so good. Okay. Now back over to this. Okay. 135 moss chops. That's just walking around my base. So let's just grab a... Uh Let's grab one of these. Tintoberry. One Tintoberry to tame a 135 moss chops? Are you kidding me? That's the easiest tame ever. Nice. Okay. Let's get... Let's fix it all up and then we're good. Perfect. Okay. Oh, but I'm stoked for this. Guys, this is going to be good. All right, guys, it is about that time. It is currently about, uh, let's check. Let's do a quick check. Almost 3 a.m. And, uh, we are going to go do the cave. So, on my, on my body, I, I have some hide armor. I was actually looking through the wiki and they said hide armor is good because you can just repair it right on site, which is a good idea. You just have to bring in fiber. Um, because you get tons of hide while you're in there. Um, I also have a second set of, um, flak armor, which I'm wearing one set. Um, I have some bug repellent I'll put in when I put on when I go in the cave. Some meat for myself, some water. I don't know. I'm taking a stimulant. I don't, I, I don't know that I'll need it, but I'm taking it. Also, also medical brew. Um, and I, I'll need to remember to bring it, but the RG, I believe, has, uh, has less antidote in case I do end up getting hit by a, um, but unless I do get if if I do get rabies, so I'm also bringing some poop. I probably have too much, but I have plenty of poop to tame a dung beetle if I can get one. Um, let's see anything else that I missed. I think that's I think that's it. Um, on my person, I also brought this. I got this from a drop. This might help just in case anything bad goes wrong. It's a master craft with, let's see what, what it has here for damage. Uh, 184 damage. I also have a 189 master craft crossbow and a ramshackle pike that I picked up from a drop. All those are from drops or alphas or something like that. So, um, in fact, I think they're all from alphas. So, well, maybe not the shotgun, but anyway. Um, technically too, you can, you can, um, you know, on these saber tooths, you can act, you can do this, um, first person shooting, which is nice. So it's almost daytime. So I'm going to head over there. Uh, the other two saber tooths are already there. Let's go ahead and get over. I think, I'm not sure what time exactly daytime starts. I think it's like maybe 6 a.m. 
So we are going to um, get over there with this. Also, oh, also, I have my otter because I'm gonna carry. I'm gonna try to pick up a couple of of the artifacts rather than just one. And you may or may not know, but you can take um, your the otter is the only creature in the game that can carry an artifact and actually can carry multiple artifact artifacts. So, yeah. Exciting stuff. So, here we go. We're gonna go give it a shot. I need to make sure... Yeah, lesser. Okay, good. Make sure I have that on me. And I think that's all I really need. Alright, guys. It's go time. Got both of these guys on follow. Got them both on attack my target. Um, Alright. Uh, it's pretty dark in here, obviously. We'll see how it, how it gets as we get as the day kind of gets going. What? A bat immediately? <laughs> I mean, I barely got in the door. I wonder if somebody else has been in here or something, because that's that is not normal. Okay, guys. Do I need to move you? I'll bet you that's all that was. Somebody else has been in here. And they, uh, and they left one out. Like, like they, they led one of those on it kind of close. Keep an eye up above. Things always, the caves are the glitchiest part of Ark. And that's, and that's saying something. Take a quick peek down there. I don't see anything. I hear something, obviously. But yeah, caves, there's always stuff glitching into walls, like spiders will shoot you through walls, or shoot at you, I should say. Okay, stay with me, Sabertooths. Where is it? I don't know. Let's just double check that. You guys stay there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Let's get them to follow me again. Hopefully they can pathfind here. Pathfinding is notoriously bad in these caves. It's one, th one thing that makes it hard for a, uh, a solo player to do well here. Okay, there's a, there's a third saber. Oh, we're getting hit. Yeah, see. There we go. Go get it. Why are you not getting? Come on, Saber. You're in the way. What? Oh, oh gosh. That thing came out of the sky. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, I've shot this thing two times at least. Oh my gosh, I'm trying, basically I'm trying to trigger them to do a lot of the attacking. What the heck? A Parasurgis? Oh great, we got two more Arthropleuros. Oh, never mind, one. What? The Sabertooth died by an Onik? What's it doing? That was weird, guys. It was just sitting there, not doing anything. A minute ago. That's very weird. Very weird. Is that its back? No. That's the Arthropleura that we killed. Okay. You saber tooths. Man, I'm telling you. Doing this solo can actually be pretty annoying. Just for the things following you. Okay, what level is this guy? Let me look at... Let me see if I can peek around the corner real quick. I don't want to get off my tame. 135. No thanks. Not going to sit here. I looked it up. The taming time for something like that is like five minutes. Okay, you stay there while I go look down here. Okay, we got another dung beetle. 140? I'm not taming a 140 either. All right, let's, uh, thank you. Yeah, let's just... 
Let's go, Sabertooth. You come down and help me. Just in case something's here. Okay, something could be around there. Let's get this. I am getting explorer notes in caves, by the way, because um, I do want to. I do want to. Uh, you know, it, we're, you're down here. Might as well get them. You know. Okay. So that's not the way that I usually go. So let's let's back up. I just mainly wanted to come down here and get this note, and then kind of look, make sure there's nothing here. I'm trying to clear the cave as much as, as much as possible. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> he leaps over me. Okay. Keep going this way. Okay, kind of dead. That's not a bad thing. Oh, there we go. Spider. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take my uh, uh, bug repellent. Oh, oh, bug. Okay, we got some bats. Okay, there's a lot of bats. It's mainly they're just hard to hit, right? There we go. Come on. There we go, 140. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, oh, I got rabies. Okay, good. That's all right. That's all right. And it's rabies is gone. Oh, yeah. There we go. Taking the bug repellent. Okay, get off of me. There we go. All right, there's another. Oh, there's a. That's something right there. What is that? I couldn't tell if that was like a coiled up um, Megalosaurus or not. Health. Health is fine. Let's see. We do have a level. All right. I'm not going to stay down here too long. Okay, good, 238, let's check this one, this one took, felt, uh, it's still fine, still fine, let's, let's level this one up, or let's, uh, regen this one a little bit. Okay. We're good. They've eaten. I've eaten. They're they're mostly healed up, so we should be good to go. All right, continuing down. Nice, another le uh, level. I don't know what a good health is to stop at for a saber tooth. I'm I'm aiming for like maybe five or six k. Oh. I hear a spider. I think. Or is that an Arthropleura? Trying to peek around the corner. Oh. Beetle. 45. That could be possible. Maybe I'll tame that. I was hoping for more like 15 or 25. Oh. Spider. Is that in the wall? Definitely in that wall. Let's do K mode. Oh! 
snake. Okay. Come on. Oh gosh. Oh, saber tooth. I do not want him going down that. Oh no. The saber tooth just went down there. Oh god. That I think that's the end of that saber tooth. Okay. 130. <laughs> Doug Beetle. Okay, I can't reach it. Uh, three. He's got three circles on him. Um, let's see. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm getting lagged. Reload. Reload. Oh my gosh, guys. And this is how the saber tooth is going to die. Okay, screw it. There. Oh. What? Okay. Stuff. Just uh, a bunch of stuff just came in. Sabretooth is killing piranhas. Okay, I think I'm okay here. Oh, I don't have a shot. I don't have a shot. Okay. Where can I go? Let's run around. Let's go around the side. Oh, uh, that's too far. I went too far. Dang it. Oh, he's fighting his way. Piranhas. Good job, Piranha. Good job, Saber. Oh. I'm coming to help you, buddy. Stay alive. Alright, maybe I whistle it passive. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This doesn't look good. Okay, let's switch to this. Let's try this. Oh, my Saber Keys made it, made it over. Okay, I think this is working. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Come on. Yes. Oh, there's still one more. Come on. There we go. Okay. This is why you bring a pipe. Just in case. Oh my god. I cannot believe that Sabretooth didn't die. Way to go. Way to go. Okay. Let's check its health and stuff. Okay. Come back here, buddy. Come back here. Okay, we're still doing good on time. Okay, what? Whoa. Okay, um. Okay, let's level that one up. That one's, this one, mine's doing pretty okay. It took a lot of, it took a little bit of a beating there, but I think it's okay. All right, I hate getting off. It always stresses me out. Ooh, this one seems bloody. Okay, so not really close, but definitely took a beating. Was down what? Down to about a third health, one third health or so. All right, let's do some level. Let's do some uh, meat crunch in here. Okay, guys, I think that's good. Got it up um, a good par part of the way. I think we're mainly done. I mean, knock on wood, I think we're mainly done. The, the artifact is just up here. There's definitely still stuff here. Wanna come down and fight me? Oh, it's probably, maybe it's not detecting me because the bug repellent. Oh, but these guys will. Okay, so we are at the room. Look at this Onyx. Oh, we got a couple just hanging out in the pool. Just having a spa day. There we go.
Perfect. Okay. There's the there is the artifact. Oh, Aranya. Yeah, I know a little bit about Aranyas. Okay. Man, I wonder, do we secure the, I think we should secure this probably first. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a lap around and just make sure that there's nothing here. All right, I think that's it, guys. Unless there's stuff up in the ceiling, which is entirely possible. So let's do two things here. Let's get out one for You sit right there, saber tooth. Actually, oh, this is fine. Okay, we got one. Next thing is, let's put this right here. All right, let's grab one more artifact. Um, I put the first one on the otter. I don't know, I always grab two guys. I always grab two, I think it's smart. I don't know why, but I do. You got one backup, you got one for decoration, I guess. You can always put them on those uh, artifact display stands. Okay, um, I, I mean, we've cleared the cave. I think for the most part, except for a couple of the glitch things, we're pretty much, we got it. We just got to get this dung beetle out and I may tame that 45 that's up the, uh, the pathway too. So I'll do that and bring you guys back. Successful run. I lost a saber tooth. Um, honestly, it was the high melee, low health one. And I just don't think I had leveled up the health enough. And I, and I'll bet you because, um, it was on, on attacking my target. And wait, what? Passive flea. I'm not guys, I don't I don't know. That seems weird. No, oh that that's the one I was writing, so that doesn't matter. Um But I I'll bet you it was like trying to get away from the onyx and it just it wasn't fighting it. And it got stuck because you know how the cave is, they they just get stuck in those pathways. So um that's really annoying. But on the bright side, this is the son of of that one. And the son of this one, this one has high, high health. This one had the high health and low damage. And this one had bo has both the health and the damage. So I'm just going to breed these. I want to make sure that I have a, another one um, for the next cave. Because I am going to go do another cave probably in the next episode. Um, it won't be so, this the episode, the whole thing shouldn't be that, just that. I don't think. Um, but I'm going to go do a, probably an easier cave. Um, so I'm really happy. Also got these two, which is great. Already got some levels in these that I've been putting in here. Not that one yet, but close. Um, so that makes my fertilization fertilizer production much, much better. But, um, in the next episode, I'll figure out why this is, this is not working. This should definitely, definitely, you should be able to just put it down and then you, you put this in the inventory and it starts and it appears. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, also I do have the, um, of course I've got the one in the inventory of this, this little guy. So, so that's great too. Um, always a nice thing to have an, a backup. So guys, that's going to do it. I really appreciate it. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, I wanted to show you. I have leveled up a couple times. I'm level 79. And do you know how I did it so fast? I got a grinder. I finally just realized I, I wasn't even thinking about it, but I got a grinder. So I've just been doing some grinding and um, kind of just being AFK or doing stuff around the base while that grinds. And I've gotten a couple levels. So... That's good. I was able to, um, to get the Quetzal saddle made now. Great. Um, 
And so that's going to come in handy for Megatherium hunting whenever I get around to that. I also threw in some more lights around the base just to light it up because it gets so dark. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Really appreciate... Oh, I missed the jump. Really appreciate your help. Your, uh, you guys watching? Okay. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. And if this is the first time, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. The bell. You know the deal. And next, until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>